Hi Leo, this is your April 4th or April 10th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly reading. So I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Magician, clarified by the Page of Wands. We have the Lovers, clarified by the Fool. We have the Sun in the potential outcome. We have the Star with the Eight of Wands and uh, the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Gemini or an Aquarius or a Cancer or pretty much any zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Look at this, Leo. We've got six major arcana cards on the table out of nine cards. These are all amazing major arcana cards by themselves and especially together. Wow, this person really wants you. They really want to move forward with you. As a matter of fact, there is two really fast cards in the tarot deck and both of them are on the table. The eight of wands right there in the middle of the potential outcome. That's the first one. And the chariot on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. That's the second one. For some of you, travel could be involved. You going someplace could be involved. But in general, I think it's all about moving forward. The Chariot, by the way, is also the Personal Cancer card. It's also a card of Victory card. The Chariot is a, a card of a vehicle. So you could be meeting this person at a car show or a dealership or a service station, <laughs> what have you. Uh, this person could be a Cancer, right? The Chariot is the Personal Cancer card. But uh, again, like I said, the Chariot is a card of Victory. It's all about moving forward and not looking back. The first card that came out is the Magician. This is the person you're dealing with, or this is their energy. They really want you, or they really want someone like you. They're manifesting this. Um, the Magician is also a card of action, so they're going to be taking action towards you. Um, the Magician is clarified by the page of once. This is them reaching out to you, or if you end up in the same um, room, or in the, at the same party, or in the same something. This is them approaching you and starting talking to you. Well, the page of once is a card of flirting, you know, so... Um, it's also a, a fire sign indicator. You could be dealing with a fire sign, right? But uh, the page of wants this is them starting this conversation or starting this conversation or uh, starting this communication with you, right? Um, the lovers, the next card that came out is clarified by the full. The lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini or the lovers is a card of a choice, right? It's also a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. And perhaps that's the way this person is looking at you from the get-go. You had them at hello. They've fallen for you really hard. Right? And uh, that's why they really want you with the magician card. And uh, the fool is all about taking a leap of faith. It's a, it's a card of taking a risk. It's a card of going for it. So you could be choosing to move forward with this person with the full card. Then we have the sun. The sun is your personal, one of your personal cards, Leo. I don't usually um, interpret it as a Leo card, but since uh, this is your reading, then it could be you <laughs> on the receiving end of this offer. You're the one making this decision to move forward with them. And besides that, um, my favorite interpretation of the sun card, it's the happiest card in the deck. The happiest card in the deck. The sun always talks about happiness, joy, success, feeling great. In the potential outcome, we have the star with the eight of wands and uh, the ace of pentacles. The star is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or the star is a wish come true card. This is something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. So it could play out as their energy because, like I said, with the magician card, they really want to get the show on the road with you. Perhaps you're their star, their, you're their wish come true, right? But uh, since it's in the uh, potential outcome, it's going to play out for both of you. Um, whereas they are on board right away and uh, you're going to be getting on board once they've uh, showed up, <laughs> shown up in your life, right? I hope that makes sense. Um, uh, the Eight of Wands, the next card that came out, we briefly talked about it. It is uh, one of the fastest cards in the deck. For some of you, it's all about moving forward. For others of you, it's a card of travel. You could go travel together. You could go on a honeymoon together. Right? Or you could uh, travel the world. You could move in together in the future. That's why this card is here. And uh, the Eight of Wands is also a card of the Cupid's Arrows, right? So like I said, you will be getting on board fairly quickly with this person. <laughs> 
Um, uh, and uh, the last card I came out is the Ace of Pentacles, you know. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal card. But this is a golden opportunity card. This is uh, this card. This ace always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, somebody who is ready to start a family, right? And um, I know it's partially blocked, but there is a pathway in the right bottom corner of the Ace of Pentacles. So this is the pathway to new life together with this person, and perhaps that's why we got the full card here because you are letting go of uh, something because you know this is going to be worth. Uh, worth of letting it go, whatever you're letting go of. Uh, you're just embracing this new energy, you're embracing this new connection because you know it's like a breath of fresh air for you, right? And uh, that's going to make you really happy. So it's all about moving forward, it's all about not looking back, it's all about embracing this connection, it's all about um, you guys, you know, getting on the same page very, very quickly, right? So really like it, Leo? Really happy for you. Congratulations. Leo, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in, the, is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Chariot, we have the Six of Pentacles, uh, we have the Ace of Wands, and we also have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, to be or not to be, that is going to be the question for you, Leo, or for your family, for both of you this week, right? Um, we got two uh, cards that represent a choice. The Six of Pentacles, the second card from the left, is the card of a choice in this case. And the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, uh, all the way to here, it is definitely a card of a choice. And uh, you could be choosing between multiple vehicles if you're in the market of buying a new car. The Chariot, the first card that came out, it could be that card you're, or you're choosing between two or perhaps among three or four cars. Um, the Chariot could also be you thinking about starting something or going someplace and you're picking your next des uh, vacation destination, right? Um, or perhaps you're thinking about uh, starting something um, in your life and it could be you uh, starting, you know, you're, you're gonna go back to, g to the gym <laughs> or you could sign up for something together with your uh, significant other, like a class or start something new. Um, the Ace of Wands right next to the deck. This is a card of a new beginning. This is a card of excitement, inspiration. Uh, this is a card of uh, you actually going for it, right? So whatever it is you're choosing in between, um, at some point during the week you'll figure it out. You'll have the answer and with the Ace of Wands you're going to get really excited about buying that new car or going someplace or starting something. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Uh, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent act. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by Judgment. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Hangman, and we also have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I know you guys tell me you don't take anybody back. <laughs> I'm not going to make changes to uh, my readings for you. I'll still do the expert for you every single time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with this person, uh, you're going to put them on hold, right? You're not going to give them an answer right away. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, the first card that came out, is the person coming back. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this is somebody who is getting really serious about you. I don't know if you're going to care how serious they're going to get or uh, getting. Uh, but uh, the Knight of Pentacles uh, is the slowest knight out of all four knights, so this person thought this offer through before... Uh, making their move towards you. Perhaps they want to make sure they come towards you correctly, they've got all the bases covered, they've prepared for it, um, and uh, the Knight of Pentacles is classified by Judgment. Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Then we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of a reunion, so this person wants to reunite with you, or perhaps they know that you are going to be going to some sort of an event or a party or a gathering, and they're planning to, to attend also, and that's where they're thinking of intercepting you, so to speak, right? Um, and the, the remaining two cards we have on the table are the Hangman and the Four of Swords. These are 
the two cards that represent no action whatsoever. The hangman is a situation that is stuck, this is a card of a stagnation, and the four of swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of uh, the person taking a little break to think about it, to digest the information. And that's exactly how uh, things are going to uh, end this week. So it'll probably spill over to the following week, or you can just reject them if you want to. <laughs> All right, Leo, it's going to be up to you, 100% up to you. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, uh, this week. Uh, we have the Empress, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Sun, and we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. I can interpret the spread a couple of different ways, but the first thing, thing the very first thing I thought of was uh, somebody's getting pregnant, or somebody's going on to a maternity or a paternity leave, right? Um, or perhaps if you are getting pregnant, you'll notify your... Uh, employer and let them know you'll be taking a maternity or a paternity leave at some point in the future. So the Empress, the first card I came out, is a card of somebody who is expecting a baby. The Sun right next to the deck uh, is the happiest card in the deck. It's also your card, Leo, right? And there's a kid in the uh, in the Sun card riding a horse. So a, 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 a kid with the, the Empress together, somebody could be um, expecting a baby. The Nine of Cups in the middle is a card of a wish come true. So if you've been trying to get pregnant, that wish is being granted. And the fool on the bottom of the deck, this is this is you just feeling great about it, you know. The fool is um, moving, going for it. This is a card of feeling awesome, right? For others of you, if there's no pregnancy here, perhaps you're going on vacation. The fool, this is you letting go of work and feeling great. The sun could be someplace warm. The empress, that would still be you feeling great about it. You're going on vacation with your family or perhaps... Uh, you're just feeling great and the nine of cups this is a card this is not only a card of a wish come true it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment so yeah you feel great about not working over the next couple of weeks <laughs> all right another way i can interpret this spread and the empress in this case this is uh, you achieving some sort of a level the empress when it comes to work business and finances this is a figure of authority this is a card of somebody being respected, admired, right? And perhaps this week you're just achieving that level. Right now that you've achieved it, everybody is going to be coming to you for an advice. They will respect you. Um, they will treat you accordingly, right? And uh, the Nine of Cups, this is you feeling great about it. The Sun, you're feeling happy about it. And uh, the Fool, um, you know, you feel, you feel like, um, you know, you can reach anything right now with the Fool card. This is a card of uh, just going whatever you want right now that you've achieved this level it's like you're untouchable <laughs> you can do whatever you want you can say whatever you want so one of those scenarios all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen leo this week uh, we have the king of pentacles we have the five of wands clarified by the four of swords uh, we have the two of swords and uh, we also have the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this really reminds me of the x spread i did for you a few minutes ago we had the knight of pentacles in that spread we have the king of pentacles here i think it's the same person right uh, we also got this four of swords right there clarifying the five of wands and uh, the four of swords is a repeat card we saw it in that spread this is a different deck, by the way. I use different decks for different spreads. So yeah, with the Four of Swords clarifying the Five of Ones, this is you. Um, you'll need some time to think about it. The Five of Ones, in this case, I believe this is your internal struggle. Um, whether you should allow this person back into your life or not. Right? Um, the Two of, of Swords right next to the deck. This is a card of a crossroads. And the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of waiting. So yeah, this King of Pentacles will be patiently waiting for your answer. I don't think they're going anywhere. But again, it's up to you, Leo, what you want to do here. It's 100% up to you. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Leo, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, uh, Leo, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.